Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our All Your Trade, Our Belong to Us campaign in Europe Universal 4. Just imagine how strong we would be if we actually had Italian ideas. Oh, it would be so beautiful. Oh well, let's stop complaining about that and just hopefully we end up, you know, knocking this... I should really get this next thing, it would really help out. Naval Force Summit plus 25, plus an extra 3% missionary strength. It'd be really convenient. Unfortunately, we still have... 105 to spend. I do plan on taking over his colonies. Portugal's, that is. Clemson, do we have a truce with you? Almost expired. You do have all that nasty increased coring cost stuff, so I think it does make sense to fabricate claims on you. Try to reduce that cost. We are going to conquer... I'm just attacking everyone. Well, why not, right? Naples. How much longer do we have the, those claims on? Till... Till 95. Okay, great. Wait a minute. Choose with Italy until October of 95, and our claims expire... 26 of October, 95. Hmm. The claim is valid until the day the truce ends. It's kind of useless. So I can't re-up the claim. Well, he's allied with Bohemia. So if I attack the Emperor and the Emperor... Sorry, if I attack Austria and the Emperor defends him, he's a co-belligerent, he gets to call on his allies, he'll call on Naples. That would re-up the claim. Take some more of the boot. That's going to slow me down on getting this damn idea done, though. Yeah, it wouldn't help me. I wouldn't help him either. He's just like, eh. He's playing like I would. Let's just follow that army. I have no idea where it's going, but... Oh, here's another fort over here we can siege. Apparently that's also where he's stomping. And stack wipe. We've got another fort in Slevzig. I don't even know what this war is about. I don't really care. I'm the defender of the faith, damn it. God, with with my I can't I can't help it. Look at this. We have 60% reduction, right? If we had Italian ideas, instead of 60%, we would be paying an extra negative 25 additive modifier. So 60 plus 25 is 85. So we'd be paying only 15% of the normal coring cost for this province instead of 40%. That's a very, very significant savings. Instead of having to pay 105 for this province, it would be 26 times 10 times 0.15. It would be 39 points. I really am pissed off that I don't have Italian ideas. I don't know if I've said that before. This may be the first time. I don't think I've, I, I don't think I've mentioned it yet. But I'm very upset about it. Big part of my planning went into uh, having that, those numbers. Oh well. So we're making 47 ducats a month positive with our army. Um, we are not at the force limit. Manpower is actually coming down a bit. We've been at war non-stop for a little while. Losing claims on something. Timbuktu just went bankrupt. Go take that capital for it. That war appears to be over. Or war with that that participant. 
We're already down to 94 power projections, so we want to continue to, to really beat up on the Ottomans as long as we can. I might just wait. Just wait until we can actually get this next idea before we conquer anything else. Sidon. We're not going to be able to start that core until February of 91. Oops. Well, you know, the conversion's not that important. On it. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not over the limit anyway. We'll just wait. How are the rebel factions looking? Hungary has become westernized. Very impressive. The Tunisian separatists. They're rather upset over in Tunis. Look at that. Active missionary plus six, and they're still at only 1.8. Okay, if this war could go ahead and end... Bohemia in this war? We are. Wow, Verdun. You had a bad go of things, but... Did his capital get occupied and they just missed it? Where the hell do you live, Verdun? You do. Well, I mean, I suppose I could take that back for you. do the most of our income comes from trade and production. Sorry, trade and taxes. So we don't really care about production efficiency. I think we'll do ugh, monthly autonomy change with as much land as I've conquered. I guess we will do this one. Can you please peace out? I want to be done. You know what? Let's um, let's stay here so we get exiled. Preferably, just make it a little bit easier to get home. Doing totally fine on relationship limit. Um. Still waiting on the missionary. So, all your trade are belong to us requires us to just have the highest trade power share in these two nodes and in the English Channel. We could send a merchant there and just send all of our ships. We don't really have that many ships yet, but we could do it. Can we build more? Uh, I want more naval force limit. These aren't all distant overseas. Some of them are actually in range. These two. As is. As are these two. So we'll build a dock there as well. Unrest in our new Ottoman land. Pretty fine. Tyrol, we've got a 10 development. Um, we do have another gold mine now in La Mancha. It would be nice to get that up to the right amount of development as well. I don't even really care about the monarch points, I just want to have more more gold income. And we'll lower autonomy there as well. 
Six ducats a month? That's a lot of gold. We make 16 ducats a month now from gold. Tyrol makes 10. La Mancha only makes 6. Wow. What's the significant difference there? So this is just saying, just from gold, 6.22. I believe it's 40... It's, uh, no, it's... I forget, I completely forget what the math is. Oh, you know what it is? It's that Schwass silver mine. Plus the tiny little bit of autonomy. Okay, well it is what it is. So 16 ducats a month from gold, and yet inflation is coming down at the moment. I'm guessing we have the inflation to guy, yeah. It's the only real reason. We might have to go economic ideas. We're losing claims on Clemson. How'd you get too big? Should we train up another guy, or...? Nah, we're only at a third of manpower, I'd rather just wait. Let the cores finish. Get this next idea. Rapidly convert the rest of what's down there. I do want to finish off Castile and uh, Portugal as soon as possible, steal their colonies. Um, it's really tempting to attack this guy. More claims in the Ottoman. I mean, it does help. Every little bit. Go for like Hama. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do, the next admin spending, I think, is gonna be this idea. And uh, I know we still have one more province to core, but I just really want to get this missionary strength bonus. And the extra naval force limit will help out because we are still over the force limit. We're paying a little bit extra, not a huge amount. I'll probably just end up building more ships. Once, once we have the increased base force limit, but... Docks are coming in, so our force limit's gonna go up from there, too. 118 goes up to... Should take one month to update. 128. That's not bad at all. Can we build more docks? These are not distant overseas. They have some autonomy issues, but... Alright, cool. We're about to finish converting Tunis. That's not the one we need to court. Sidon. I should probably focus most of my efforts on, uh, on the Muslims, because that way we can get more papal influence and we can get the missionary strength up. Still have 40% more mercantilism to go. That's quite a bit. Stop converting my lands. Fabricating on my ally. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to do. Oh well. 360 um, MM points, please. Good, please. We should be at a level 3 Inquisitor. We'll stick with better relations over time, guy. Simply because... British West Indies declined France's request to accept their enforced peace. Really? Interesting. I mean, 
Aggressive expansion is kind of an issue still. It does come back rapidly. 3.9. And uh, we still have tons of room for ideas. It's still very early in the game, really. I mean, I've fallen behind tremendously on admin tech. We should have our fourth idea group already, I think. Yeah, we should. But it's because we're expanding so much. Good problem to have. Definitely a claim on Damascus. So with overseas expansion... There they are. Sorry, colonialism. I don't think that that applies to all provinces though, it's only going to be those. That's fine, that's going to be the, uh, the good next war with the Ottomans. Sure, Netherlands, why not? I'll stop converting my stuff. Well, actually, no, please do, because then I can just convert it back and get more papal influence. So, whatever. Feel free to convert away. Let's see how much this one gives us. Rosetta is a Sunni province, and it has 16 development. It gives us from 67 up to 75. Nice. So I'm guessing it's uh, two papal influence, one papal influence per two development, maybe. It's not bad. It's pretty good. And finally, divine supremacy, more naval force element. I think we probably have room for more boats now. Oh yeah, tons. Excellent. Um, let's go with light ships so that we can hopefully start to maybe move into that English Channel node. Um, we'll just send a merchant there and just start collecting just because we feel like it. Because they can't stop us. Thirty-eight ships. That puts us to one eighty. Let's just go to the force limit for now. And then we'll see about going over it in a year or two once we're up to the force limit. There we go. That's some pretty good conversion speed. Wallace in forty five months. Wallace is surprisingly difficult to convert, and yet we can do it anyway. Oh, there's a religious center here. Oh, well, by all means, we should convert Wallace. Let's get that one started. Here, cancel that one. Start working on that stupid... Well, hold on. Then again, I just did say that letting it convert stuff to reform just allows me to convert it back. Let's hold off on it for now, and I want to see if we get the same amount of papal influence for converting reformed as we do for converting Sunni. So let's wait and see how many points we get when we actually finish the conversion of Granada. That'll be done May of 92, so one year. No more claims possible on Morocco. One of these days, I do have to attack Austria. We have one more core to start. There we go. Alright, cool. Not a bad video. Got a lot done. Um, I do want to do this mission to see how much income we actually make from it. I think it's probably time to just break off the alliances with Bohemia. Like, we don't need friends anymore. Friends are a novelty. Just fight the entire world. Have marches. Alright, for now I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.